guys welcome back to another video and of course like usual i have another christmas sweatshirt personal favorite this one is a personal favorite it says all i want for christmas is for you to adopt a shelter pet so for christmas day seven you probably guessed it based on the title today i'll be showing you guys what i bought for everybody that's here for christmas Here's my good old booty bag. This is my big old Santa's bag. Got it at five and below, so if everyone wants to get one. They zip closed also. They are phenomenal. Everything organized and laid out on my bed. So starting with this one, this is for my best friend. So I have this five pack of face masks from Target. So you can see we've got seaweed, coconut, charcoal, green tea, and collagen. I've also got these Sherpa socks. I believe they came from Five Below. I kind of want to keep them for myself, but I won't do that. And then these peppermint bath salts from Target. They're just kind of cute, something a little extra throw in. Next, I'll skip over to my boyfriend. So I have this Under Armour sweatshirt that he wanted a bag full of some of his favorite snacks. Yes, his favorite cookies are vanilla wafers. I know it's very boring. He admitted to it. Um, jerky, sour octopuses, these weird chicken crackers, and today I have to go and pick up this popcorn that he really likes. And I also have this over here that I'm not going to show you because it has a last name on it. So privacy reasons I won't show you but I'll put a picture of the Etsy listing up. It is a thin blue line uh, frame with the last name etched in because he is a CEO and he loves all that thin blue line stuff so I got him in that as well. Super excited about it. I also snagged this free sticker. Um, actually it might have been a dollar. I think it was a dollar. I snagged this for my boyfriend as well. Because this is basically my boyfriend in a nutshell. <laughs> I have my mom. And I have to decide how I'm dividing this. If it's all going to be me or me and the kids. I have to figure that out still. But this first one is this sign. And it says, don't cry over spilled milk. It could have been wine. She loves wine. And then I've got these two different kind of truffles from Target that are meant to be paired with wine. So I've got espresso, lemon, caramel, raspberry, pomegranate. And then this one. These are really cool. I really like these ones. And there's rose champagne, blueberry, lemon, caramel, and strawberry champagne. So I think I'm going to do just this stuff. And that'll probably be for me. And then I do have more of those truffles and then this mulling spice with infused orange um, that's going to be paired with wine or apple cider or brandy so I think I'm gonna go pick up a bottle of wine today and then these coffee I can get out of bag these coffee exfoliating sugar cubes because she loves her coffee. So there's my mom. Okay, but an update because I went to the liquor store today on my way home from the rink. So I don't drink alcohol. I know nothing about alcohol. I'm probably the one college kid in the world that made it through college without alcohol. So I showed up and didn't know what I was looking for, didn't know what to get. So I'm just walking around and first I find this one. Now, I have no idea what this means. I don't know what Cab Cabernet Sauvignon is. I probably just said that completely wrong. Um, but all I knew is it had a penguin on it. It was super cute. And I just finished at the aquarium working with penguins. So I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of fun. Even if it's not good. I like the uh, like the art on the front, and then I read it, and it said, 
pair it with barbecue burgers. So, it's got a penguin and it's good with burgers. So it's good enough for me. And then I asked the guy, what's good to be paired with chocolate? He said this is their most popular red wine. I'm pretty sure this is one that my mom drinks already. But he said, personal experience, this is the one for chocolate. So I got that. And this was my very first time buying alcohol. And he didn't ID me. So I was actually really upset. I actually pulled out my ID and was like, hey, you want to see my ID? And he just laughed at me. So that's kind of upsetting. Okay, so then I've got my dad. And this is from the whole family. I got it off of Amazon. And you hook it up to your car and it'll tell you what's wrong. So instead of having to go to the shop, if your check engine light is on, you run this and it will tell you what is wrong with your car. So I thought it was kind of cool, a little gadgety type gift. Something that he does not have because he's hard to shop for. So we got that. Um, I also got reusable twist ties that have not come in yet. Those will be in on, New er, on Christmas Eve. But reusable zip ties, got them on Amazon. I'll put a picture right here. And a link for them in the description because they are eco-friendly and reusable and yeah, conservation. Woo. Okay, and then I have my sister. And I don't know if I'm going to divide this between like me and my brother. Not me and my brother, but like one from me and one from me and my brother. Um, but I have this bath bomb. It's mint cookie. I came from Target. She loves bath bombs. And I mean, it's mint cookie. And then I have this bubble bath stuff from Bath and Body. This gold peel off mask. I thought that was kind of cool. I think it came from Five Below Target. I don't really know. Um, I got her a sand clown shirt. Every year I get her something like this sand cloud, paisley tiger, um, ivory ella. Something that gives back to the environment. And to the animals. So a sand cloud shirt. Um, I got this purplish burgundy cardigan from her. Um, she is in junior high. She would prefer to wear leggings and hoodies 24-7. I'm trying to encourage wearing nice clothes. So I got her this nice cardigan. And if she absolutely hates it, I'll wear it myself. Over here, she does play oboe. It was my oboe, but I don't play anymore. So I found my oboe stand. So I'm going to give her my oboe stand. Last but not least, this table. You can see it's a little dirty because it has been mine for years and years and years. But I don't need it anymore. I don't have room for it anymore. And she's been trying to steal it. She really wants it. So I'm gonna give it to her. Okay, and then we have my brother whose presents are divided. This will be for me. The other stuff will be for my sister and I. But I've got him some maple bacon kettle corn. I don't know if he likes kettle corn or if he'll eat it, but he's obsessed with bacon. So I got it. Um, I got this shirt and sticker from Red Bubble. This little cocktail. He did get a cocktail this summer. So I got him that because that was kind of funny. And this sticker that I actually made and then, of course, bought on Red Bubble. So that is his bird's name. And these are our high school colors, blue and red. So, did that for him. And then just like for my boyfriend, I threw together a snack pack present for him. This will be for me and my sister. So it's got some of his favorites. Um, and this one's actually kind of a joke. We were joking that, we were joking that my mom didn't know how to pack lunches when we were kids. We were the only kids in the school at lunchtime that didn't have crossing brownies because our mom wouldn't buy them because they weren't healthy. So, I bought him some cosmic brownies. New day and I look really gross so I apologize but I did more shopping yesterday so I wanted to just update you on now my grandparents and what I got them. I did a kind of combined yet separate gift for them and it's a kind of conservation eco-friendly theme because I am their first grandkid to graduate from college and with a degree that involves conservation, saving the planet, saving the animals, 
So I kind of wanted to go off of that a little bit. So I got both of them their own set of reusable straws and a little bag to go with it. Um, both everything from Amazon. Um, so I'll put the links in the description below. Um, so I did that for both of them. They each got their own set. And then I got my grandmother reusable produce bags to the grocery store. So instead of having to take all those little plastic bags to buy your fruits and your veggies, you have those reusable produce bags. And then for my grandfather, I got him the reusable twist tie tool things like I got for my dad. So they each have their own little thing, eco-friendly and conservation-ish. And I can't wait for it to come in. I am so excited. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe it helped you come up with ideas for some last minute shopping, possibly. Um, I know we're running kind of short on time. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you for the next one.